Right here, grade 11 EGD learners, I'm going to focus in on component number two of your pack and it's specifically pertaining to the research. I've started off here with the summative assessment checklist because this is the actual checklist that will be used to allocate your marks for you. And if you want 10 out of 10, then your relevant, your research must be relevant and usable in your actual pet. Please look at um, previous videos if you've missed maybe the steps leading up to this component research. Now, in the clubhouse and concrete deck design that you need to do, you need to research three components. That's a requirement. Of course, I do think you'll have to do some additional research because there's no way that you're going to be able to design all of this just with your own knowledge that you've gained up to now. But the three components that you will be assessed on is 2.1, regulations and layouts of clubhouses, public entertainment areas. Number two, the requirements for and the layout of a small first aid room for two patients. And 2.3, the requirements for a small kitchen that can serve 50 people efficiently. Okay, those are the three components. This research, I would like to suggest that you do at least one page they say two pages that may not exceed, of course, but at least one A3 page per topic. So we've got one, two, three, three A3 pages, and you're going to be absolutely nailed. And I'm going to actually show you practical examples of these. What else is being assessed here? Evidence that the research has been used and a bibliography list of sources. Each one of these are two marks. So if you're able to nail all of them, you're going to get 10 out of 10. Now let's go to the actual PET document discussing what is the requirement for your research. Okay. Always go back to this document. These, this document and the first one shown are the ones that we're going to work together with to make sure you know exactly what is required. Okay. So we've spoken about what you need to do your research on. Let's look at what, how, how to explain this. The research must be relevant and should therefore be primarily in the form of graphic material, in example, pictures and illustrations. Okay, so primarily, we are looking for graphic material, pictures and illustrations on these three items, regulations and layouts of clubhouses, public entertainment areas, requirements, layout, small first aid room, and the small kitchen requirement. Evidence of all relevant resources material must be included in the pack, and the presentation of the research material may not exceed three A4 or two A1 pages. And as stated, people, you can't go wrong with one A3 page per topic. Okay, if it is well populated and well used. One A3 page, perfect. There must be clear evidence that the research was used. So we're going to talk about what evidence do you provide here for that research as proof and a list of your bibliography. Okay, let's look at actual samples of research so you saw they really wanted graphic symbols or graphic illustrations pictures now you're going to start off on your a3 by framing it of course and you're going to give it the heading the first one will be 2.1 now this was of course a different pet but your heading will be 2.1 regulation and layouts of clubhouses or public entertainment areas and you'll have to search for layouts, actual drawings that illustrates how clubhouses are laid out and the regulations pertaining to them. You can also, of course, do a couple of images. And I always encourage my learners to add a little description to images to just explain to me, the viewer, what out of this do they take? What, what, what is it the lesson that they've learned out of this? Okay, let's look at a different example of research. Again, laid out with illustrations and a just a one sentence discussion of what stood out in that. Here's another one. Now this was layout and designs of open plan kitchens, but you kind of get the feel here that the learner actually looked at real examples used. They've got some pictures and out of that they've taken what is it that for them will be implemented in the future uh, designs, etc. So that's the evidence that they referred to. Uh, just some evidence, a summary of uh, what is it the content that you're going to use make sure you number it correctly and you have a nice border around it Okay, that's some direction on your research now. It's your turn